Hey everyone, it's Star Sketch. Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you a little DIY project to end off this little, you know, mental health march. Um, and this is a, a quick little DIY that you could do. Um, I literally got everything from Dollar Tree that you need. Um, and then you just need a printer if you have that. And if you don't have a printer, you can create your own things or you can go to a local library or a friend's house that has a printer to print these out um but yeah um we'll, we'll talk more about it as we get through it but this DIY is a DIY mental health binder this is something that has really helped me every time that I feel really 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 depressed or really 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 anxious I go to this and this is a great little tool to have in your coping skills toolbox if you um, do have mental health issues yourself. Um, and I figured I would kind of share it with you guys, just a little DIY of some ideas, some inspiration for you guys to make your own DIY mental health binder. So without further ado, let's get into this. So this is my binder um, that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, it's just one of those, you know, basic one inch binders here. Um, again, you can get this at Dollar Tree. You can also get ones at Five Below um, or even on Amazon and just choose whatever design you like. I just really liked this design because it says do your thing, aka like, you know, for me, it's like do you, do your mental health journey, do what you need to do to cope through it. You know what I mean? So this one doesn't have any pockets, but if that is something that you are wanting in your mental health binder to put little um, coloring pages or anything like that in here you can I just don't find the need for it so I didn't need it so Dollar Tree is a perfect place to get binders because that most of them do not have the pockets there are some that do but they don't have like the fun patterns like this but anywho um, so again all you need is a binder and some uh, binder tabs here I got this pack of eight from I think staples, but I feel like you could also get them at Dollar Tree um, or Five Below, like I said. So, um, and I think actually I had some extra ones laying around, so I was able to kind of use these. But basically, I put in a bunch of papers or resources or a list of resources in here that are going to help me with each aspect of my mental health. So these are the sections that I have in my binder they will definitely differentiate for you. So it depends on the different mental health diagnoses that you have or diagnosis that you have. If you don't have a mental health diagnosis, you can just, you know, tab them off um, in any way that you want. But here are some ideas for you. So first, I have depression, anxiety, DBT, which is dialectical behavioral therapy. I'll show you guys what that is. Goals, self-care, self-love, ASD, which is Autism Spectrum Disorder, I consider it under my mental health world because it's, it is, I feel, I think of it as part of my mental health journey, but you do not have to if that's your thing. And then resources. So first we're going to go in the depression um, category. Um, I found these really, really great worksheets. A majority of the worksheets that are in here are from Therapist Aid is what it's called. So I will have that website linked down below for you guys as a resource to look at different mental health worksheets to include in your binder. But essentially, these are coping skills for depression that I decided to put first. So, um, you know, it gives you an idea of activities to do and figure out when you're going to do them you know, social support. Um, we also have three good things and mindfulness, just some things that you can do when you're feeling depressed. It's just a nice little thing to go to, to do that. And then my next thing here is the challenging negative thoughts. So some of these I did not write in because one, I wanted to keep them to like, you know, like I'll keep this blank. And anytime that I do have negative thoughts, I should come to this. I don't always, but I should come to this and write these questions down in my journal and then basically kind of do a little journal session with myself. So these are really good journaling prompts um, to do. So this is again from therapistaid.com. It's the challenging negative thoughts worksheet. 
And then we have the positive steps well-being. I try to make sure some of these are colored, uh, like this particular page is like a colored page, but for my mental health binder to save ink, I tend to use only black and white ink. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, so this is a nice little positive steps to well-being little um, printout that I found. Um, if you guys want any of the links to anything that I'm showing, please let me know down below or I will even send you some resources if need be. Next we have a gratitude journal little printout. So this is something that I like to do that is a good reminder for myself. Um, and it gives me some journaling prompts to do to kind of practice gratitude because I feel like when I'm depressed, I tend to only focus on the negative. So having a gratitude journal or doing some gratitude journaling is definitely helpful. And then these are some gratitude exercises, um, just instead of using a journal. I mean, it does list that, but you could do it in other ways as well. Again, therapist aid is a great, great resource. Social support. So this kind of was talked about in the coping skills section, but they have a whole thing for just social support. So I decided to print this out in case I ever need that. I have plenty of social support. Um, and if you want to, you're able to write down some people um, and what they do for you and any barriers to prevent you from fully utilizing each of your supports kind of a thing. So that is the depression section. So again, it's very, um, these mental health binders are very customizable to your personal needs. If you need any help or if you would like some assistance with it, please let me know in the comments and I can definitely help you out. Um, I've made uh, mental health binders for other people before, so if that's something that you're interested in, please let me know. Next section is anxiety. So again, just like the depression section, I decided to get the coping skills for anxiety worksheet from Therapist Aid. So that is in here. And then we have grounding techniques, which is actually, I think, no, it's not actually. It's like a whole separate worksheet that they had of different grounding techniques. And I feel like that to me, it screams anxiety coping skill. So that is all there. Um, this is another little worksheet to do in a journal. So that's why I left it blank, but it's like what could versus what will happen. Some journaling things to do when you're feeling anxious, challenging anxious thoughts. So again, just a longer, you know, journaling session to do with that. A mindfulness meditation to read, um, to yourself to kind of meditate on how you're feeling and a progressive muscle relaxation script. So again, something to read to kind of get you, you know, to do the activity. And yeah, so that is all the anxiety ones. Again, I can leave you guys any links to any of those below. Next is dialectical behavioral therapy, which is a specific kind of therapy that I was studying during my mental health journey. This is urge surfing an activity that is done in dialectical behavioral therapy. I'm not going to go through everything in dialectical behavioral therapy as it is, you know, uh, a lot to it. And I'm not a therapist or anything. So if you are, if any of these interest you, maybe talk to your therapist or doctor about it. So yeah, that's all I have to say there. Cognitive distortions. This talks about that. So this is very helpful to have on hand. Um, so I tend to be an overgeneralizer. <laughs> Um, is what mine is. Distress tolerance skills. Again, these are just skills to use, um, you know, when you're feeling stressed. And then again, you know, using accepts here. So there's, I have them here and I have some more here. These are like more ideas while well, this has some ideas to have in it um, to do those activities. And then you're, you're able to kind of write your own, but I never wrote in my own. So that's always an activity that I could do whenever I feel anxious or depressed or something. I can go in and do that. Um, interpersonal effectiveness skills. So these are like social skills that are taught in DBT. Dear man, more uh, of an acronym to use when talking to people. Emotion regulation, like opposite action, check the facts, etc. You know, if you know DBT, then you'll know what that's talking about. But it's just a form of therapy that I like to use. So I just wanted to keep all those handouts in there. The next section is goals. So these are, these are basically 
goal setting worksheets that I can work on if so please. Um, so this is my looking back page. So anytime that I feel that I would like to fill this out, I will. Um, and basically it's just looking back, you know, list out some accomplishments you've done. If I ever feel like super depressed about my past, I look at this and either write in my journal about it. I typically write in my journal about it. I don't like to write in any of these. These are just more or less, um, guidelines or uh, worksheets to look at and then um, I have looking forward so things to look forward to in the future goal exploration so if I wanted to I could go through these in a journal they're basically just each aspect of your life um, and what your five-year one year and one month goal is for each one so again I don't like to write in them um, in here I'll tend to write them in my journal and then next is self-care. So these are all self-care related um, worksheets. This is a self-care assessment. So if I ever feel like that my self-care is just not doing great, I do one of these assessments in my journal um, and just kind of see where I'm at. So I just read it uh, a one, two, or three, which is I do this poorly, I do this okay, I do this well, um, or I would like to improve on this is the star. So. I'll write out for physical care, eat healthy foods. Is that a one, two, three, or a star? And write it down. And then that way I can figure out what needs to be worked on. So that is that assessment there. And then some self-care tips that I can reference to. Again, you can write out your own worksheets and stuff. You don't have to print these all out. This is just for me. I really love how Therapist Aid did all these. Building new habits. So this is a worksheet to help you build new habits. I accidentally threw a whole bunch the wrong side before. Uh, and exercising. So, you know, um, mental health benefits of exercise. If I ever feel like, oh, I don't really want to exercise, I can go to this for some mental health benefits. And then there's like a little exercise on the back that I can do in a journal too of like, which day of the week do I want to exercise? What exercises do I want to do? And just some tips at the bottom. Next is self-love. So this is like a visualization exercise that you can do in a journal. Um, again, I just printed out, printed it out just to have in here. So there is that. And then just some, you know, best possible self there. And then some strengths discussion questions. So these are some questions to ask yourself in a journal to kind of think about what your strengths and weaknesses are. I did this one day when I was really, really down. Um, and I think that these are still relevant, so um, I kept them in here. That's why I, there's some in here that I've written in and some that I have not. These ones I wanted to write in because I felt like that they were very general statements. So I did those. So there's that about me, some more sentence completion, um, some positive things, you know, so. And then my strengths and qualities, you know, I can always you know, look back at this. And then um, there's my autism awareness thing. So this is uh, my autism spectrum disorder section. So I actually back in the day did a lot of um, did a autism awareness month um, box for people. So I decided to put in what I made because I think it's, you know, really good autism packet signs of ASD that I made. Um, list of ASD online influencers. So these are great people to look into if you are on the spectrum. Definitely look up these people. Yes, one of the creators of the box. I put my name. Um, list of ASD online resources to check out. These are some websites. So I can keep that in there. Then there's a word search. I don't know. That was just part of it. And I figured I would put that in there. And then last but not least are some resources. These are just for my disability services people. And then that is it. So feel free to make your own uh, mental health binder based on these ideas. Um, and let me know what you guys think of mine or if you want to make your own. If you have any comments or questions for me, do not hesitate to leave any of that in the comments section below. I just wanted to really share this because this is something I do use on a, not a regular basis. It's good to have in a desk to have when you need it. But it's a good kind of reminder of like, yes, I have a binder that kind of tells me, you know, everything I need to know in terms of my mental health. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on this down below, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.